The starter's on his ladder, plays the game, goes in. They're set to run. Plays the game, stood there flat-footed when the starter released the field. Missed it a good couple of lengths at the ready. He's going to go back, and so is Royal Strata. First to leave, inject the venom. I Art began well, so did Mr. Elby. And behind those, when they get going, Paddy Shadow and Beg to Differ, who settles over on the fence. A little more than a length to Noir de Rue. Then the stablemate getting up inside of it with the red cap spiritual warrior. Plays the game, Beg to Differ, back there, or at the ready at least, towards the tail end of the field. And behind those, Royal Strata. Leaving the straight behind them, they go through the crossing at the 1600 and inject the venom. Last year's Kalgoorlie Cup winner led the way by two and a half lengths. Mr. Elby not in front today and he's going to sit off the pace. Two lengths further away then is Iart. Beg to differ is next over on the inside of Paddy Shadow and then came Spiritual Warrior pulling his way up on the inside of Nawar Daru. Over a length behind them plays the game with its neck arch back there on the inside. Closely followed by At the Ready and to clear last is Royal Strata. Inject the venom's got them running along down the back. 11.50 metres to go and inject the Venom out by nearly three and a half to four, Mr. Elby. And then a length and a half to I Art, just sneaking up now around the outside from Beg to Differ. Three quarters of a length away then is the Mayor Paddy Shadow on the fence to Spiritual Warrior. A further three quarters of a length away is Noir de Rue when they leave the back. Checking off heels plays the game, which has gone a bit keenly back in running. Being followed then on the outside by At the Ready and two lengths Royal Strata. Inject the Venom heads out to the side of the course in an attempt to try and do this all of the way. It's the reigning Cal Cup winner, 650 metres left to go. Inject the Venom, two lengths, Mr. Elby. He's got to bide his time to get to this leader who's coming back to them now, nearing the corner. Iart goes up now within striking distance and around the outside. Here's Nawar de Rue letting loose. Being followed by Plays the Game, getting up on the inside of Beg to Differ. Spiritual Warrior, Paddy Shadow, followed further back then by At the Ready and Royal Strata last in Inject the Venom still in front. At the 200, though, inject the Venom. Mr. Elby joins it now with Iart, Paddy Shadow. Noir de Rue can't go on. Mr. Elby reached the lead from Iart, Paddy Shadow. Mr. Elby, Iart keeps coming. Mr. Elby clings on. Mr. Elby wins it. Mr. Elby from Iart, Paddy Shadow third. And behind them, Spiritual Warrior close up in company with At The Ready. And they were followed by Noir de Rue, who peaked inject the venom, gave a bit of an account of himself this afternoon and a return to some form. Further back is Beg to Differ and then Royal Strata and plays the game. Mr. Alby. Ridden by Troy Turner. Electing not to go to the top. He allowed inject the venom to take on that role. And uh, he had to drag the others to it. My art was there ready to capitalise. But hands and heels from Troy Turner, Mr. Alby, who went out and got beaten 13 and a half lengths last start on a day where he got taken on and his sectionals were white hot for the first part of a race. He, he couldn't sustain that today. He was ridden much more conservatively and uh, no pressure around Mr. Alby. He gets the job done from Iart, number nine, Paddy Shadow, third home from At The Ready, who was back from 31 into 12s and uh, a little semblance of some uh, older form. The winner, though, is by Alfred Nobel from Pocket Aces for C. Chua, trained by Paula Wag. Nice change of uh, fortune for Paula there, not that she has too many runners, of course. Troy Turner getting it home over I Art by Keltis, Lindsay Smith, William Pike, and Paddy Shadow back up to the distance this afternoon by Dane Shadow, Raquel Williams, Stephen Parnham. A long head, half a length, 2.17, 2.0 they ran, and the last 600 in 36.61. Nawadaru loomed on the corner and then blew out, didn't run the race out strongly. Inject the Venom was there for a long, long way under the 60, so uh, it was a, a little return to some form also. But honours today with Mr Alby here in race number four. The fifth event, the Amelia Park handicap over 1,200. And uh, no alterations there to the first leg of the quaddy. Mark Warwood's with us once again in the winner's enclosure. Good finish there. Troy Turner holds off William Pike. Mr. Ralby back in the winner's list as his trainer, Paula Wag. Yeah, thanks, Owen. With uh, the winning trainer here, Paula Wag. And uh, what were the tactics today? Did you expect to lead? I mean, this horse has led very fast tempo as the last two. No, I think um, I said to Troy, uh, just 
you can't lead like that. He can't do it at both ends. He's a good stayer, but I think when you lead, you get taken on by other horses, and sometimes it just doesn't work out. So I said, you know, try and just sit him in if you can. This horse is sixth up today. Will he keep on going into uh, into August with this horse? Oh yeah, he'll keep on going. He's <laughs> he's um, the fir the more runs he has, the better he gets. He seems to love Belmont. It's his fourth win here today. I know he's trained at Ascot, but this seems to be his favourite track. Well, I'm hoping he also likes Ascot as well when we get back there. But um, I'd just like to say um, Mr Chu is up in Singapore, the owner of this horse, and I'm sure him and his family would have had a very enjoyable time watching the race today. Well, the family's been good to you, of course. This is the relation to Belmont Girl, your former Sable star. Congratulations, Paula, and we'll see Mr Albie probably in a couple of weeks' time. Thank you. Paula Wag there, the winning trainer of uh, Mr Albie, this horse. It was our only runner here today, and just the one runner and the one winner as he comes back to post, Pete. Yeah, certainly a well-deserved win as well. This horse has had some very consistent performances over the last year or so, and obviously the last two starts haven't necessarily been that suitable, but the horse has still run quite uh, meritoriously, I thought, especially two starts ago, only beaten point eight of a length behind Spiritual Warrior. And the horse just keeps on keeping on. Yeah, you can forget the last start. He was beaten nearly 14 ends by Come Play With Me, who clearly is a black type horse, but they went very, very fast there. be interesting to see the splits out of this race. I don't think they went anywhere near as hard, even with Inject the Venom up front. Yeah, I'll try and ask Troy that uh, when he jumps back on the scale and just see exactly what his perception was, because clearly the last two starts were very hard run, and I'm not sure this one necessarily looked that quick. Yeah, it looked like a, a pretty moderately run of air. Well, we do get some very slowly run uh, staying races here in Perth. And, you know, it's pretty good sometimes when you've got that genuine tempo because, you know, it, it does sort the wheat from the chaff. Absolutely. And it just allowed Mr Albert to just slot in, just take that little bit of a trail here today. Ended up with uh, Injector Venom just getting off to a small break on the rest of the field. And then Mr Albert just had to do a little bit of work towing up the rest of the field. But obviously the horse is rock fit. Troy Turner knows the horse well. He's ridden it particularly well over the last couple of starts. We'll have a quick chat to Troy now. Jags, he obviously didn't lead here today. Was that uh, part of the plan? Yeah, well, Paula was sort of keen not to lead. There wasn't any speed on paper, so I thought we might end up there. But um, obviously we wouldn't be going as hard as we did last start. So uh, anyway, it worked out well. We were running second and uh, he got in his full stride before the corner and he fought him off well. Is that how it felt in the run as well compared to the last couple of starts? Just not the same level of tempo up front? Yeah, pretty much. Um, he ran that good second. And he had that little pressure down the back by the horse that was sitting out three deep and that probably, might, it probably cost him the win that day. And then last start, well, it was crazy to sort of let that horse cross me when um, we were going pretty hard and it was probably going to collapse in my lap. But, yeah, today worked out well and uh, credit to the trainer and owners and uh, that was a good win. Just looking forward to the rest of the card. You've got a couple of rides there for the Backrenich team coming up with playing Marika. But also Jatumi's a horse that's coming off a long layoff. It just seems to be improving with every start. Your thoughts on its chances here today? Yeah, I got off him the other day and I said to the owners and uh, the trainer, I thought he'd be a good chance today. Um, he's just drawn a bit sticky. I think that's uh, going to be the key today. If he And playing Marika, if they can get a good enough run from the barriers, that's, they're going to be right in the mix, but we just have to play ball here. All the best. You're riding well. Yeah, thank you.